to an issue that has dominated debate this week, the unhinged reaction to a very ordinary photo of the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, and his wife, Jenny. Now, to most normal folk, not from the lunatic left fringe, the photo of the Scott and Jenny Morrison signing a condolence book for Prince Philip was utterly unremarkable. And, yes, there were also photos of the Prime Minister watching on as Jenny signed the condolence book. But somehow that was missed by the bile filled haters of the far left who were sent into fits of unbridled rage by this image. <sighs> Let's be clear, the attacks against Jenny Morrison have been beyond the pale, creepy, sexist and utterly unhinged abuse against a woman whose only crime is being married to the Prime Minister. That and that alone has earned her an enormous amount of misogyny <laughs> Sexist vitriol. I can't say misogyny for some reason today. Misogynistic. Misogynistic is the word I was looking for, but English is a second language. Uh, she has <laughs> copped it all week from the Twitter cesspit and it really has been some of the ugliest abuse you could imagine. The whole narrative about the First Lady being a submissive housewife living a handmaid's tale existence pushed along by Channel 9's Magda Jubanski was malicious and, frankly, mad. Magda retweeted a far-left activist account that had posted the picture with this caption, Good morning to everyone else to whom this feels creepy, chilling, terrifying, ominous, enraging, despairing and utterly, completely effing depressing. If that is your reaction to that benign picture, then I suggest you seek professional help <laughs> and urgently. To that insanity, Zubanski added, I genuinely thought this was a photoshopped handmaid's tail meme, but no, it's 21st century Aussie life. Zubanski went further, sharing an image zooming in on Jenny's hand over her daughter's wrist with a thumb and forefinger touching. What's this little hand signal thingy, she asked her followers. Now, among the sane population, the thumb and forefinger touching is the OK symbol. But among the loopy left that Zubanski panders to, it is a white supremacist sign. That absolutely absurd theory began as a joke that three or four years ago on an online forum called 4chan where users started this joke to see if they could trick the media into believing the OK sign was a symbol of white supremacy. Some simpletons fell for it, most people just laughed. Obviously, the OK sign is not synonymous with white supremacy and any suggestion otherwise is absurd, but this is 2021 where people's paranoid fantasies must be respected. And so Jenny Morrison became the target of some hideous abuse from the Twitter lefties who believe she's some closet KKK fan. It's almost funny until you remember these people vote. So far, there has been no apology from Zhubansky for suggesting that Jenny Morrison is some racist far-right operative signalling to other far-right operatives. And, of course, it wasn't just Zhubansky trolling the PM's wife. There were thousands of deranged tweets from slanderous claims to commentary about Jenny Morrison's intelligence, appearance and character. Most of the output of the tolerant, inclusive and progressive left is too disgusting to share with you here. But here is a sample of the, the tamer stuff that we can share. Michelle, who lists March for Women on her Twitter bio, wrote, I have never hated anyone as much as I hate Morrison and his bloody wife. Helen Carter, who lists feminism, social progress and support our ABC on her bio, wrote... Is Jenny not allowed to wear anything nice ever? She looks like the housekeeping lady. And leftist Rob Arnold, who no doubt identifies as a male feminist, asked, Is Jenny not allowed to wear makeup? Because if this is looking your best for a very important occasion, you've got problems. God, you'd never see Anita Keating look like a mess or Therese Rain, Lucy Turnbull, Hazel Hawke. Magda, too, in her train wreck a current affair interview, referred to Jenny Morrison not having her hair and makeup done. Apparently, Magda didn't even realise it was the first lady she was trolling because she wasn't dolled up. Keen to show their 
moral superiority, the very same folks who have spent weeks raging against the Morrison government for supposedly failing Australian women were poking fun at a woman's appearance. And where was the sisterhood to defend Jenny Morrison? Where was Penny Wong, Sarah Hansen Young, Zali Stegall? And some of the very same activists bleating about March for Justice and claiming Australia is systematically sexist were laying the boots into a woman not for what she has said or what she has done, but simply because of what she looks like and who she loves. So here's a message to the fringe-dwelling lefties of Twitter. Jenny Morrison is not a politician and she has not, like some US First Ladies, inserted herself into policy debates. You can hate on her husband in any manic fashion you desire, but leave her name out of your filthy, bile-filled mouths.